Well, it's 3.05 a.m. Time to make the donuts. Well, it's about 4.20 a.m. And I'm uh, headed to the airport. So I always try to um, park in about the same spot. Kind of, you know, makes everything a little familiar when I get back. I don't have to look for my truck. It's always in the same spot. Well, here we are in Atlanta, Georgia. And we're heading down the freeway looking for the exit to take us to uh, I-20 West. We're gonna go that way a little ways and then we're gonna head up toward Rock Mart, Georgia. Used to travel this road a lot when I lived in Savannah, driving back and forth to Arkansas to visit family. And I remember this exit. It's a uh, pretty sharp turn here so they uh, really slow you down. Get to tell me to turn, Jane. Exit right to exit 44, State Route 6, Thornton Road, Ostel. Then stay to the right to Thornton Road. Thornton Road. I'll do that. Thank you very much. Stay to the right to Thornton Road. Rural Northwest Georgia. Starting to get into kind of the foothills of the Smoky Mountains. Smoky Mountains, of course, are on up in Tennessee, but uh, it's not very far from here. So uh, we're starting to kind of get into some rolling hills. Beautiful country. I have finished up setting up my classroom here in Rock Mart, Georgia at a junior college here. Northwest Georgia Junior College. And now I'm headed to Rome, Georgia to check into the hotel. Big solar on the right hand side there don't know what they're powering but there's a bunch of them I noticed that the last time I was here um, I noticed at the junior college they've got oh looks like maybe four or five acres dedicated to uh, solar cells solar panels Maybe some sort of a Georgia State uh, tax benefit or something. It sure seems like they uh, spend a lot of money on solar. And they put those up a couple of years ago before the solar panels really took a, a nosedive in price. The price per kilowatt hour of solar has really taken a drop in just the last oh, year and a half, two years. And it's going to make an even greater drop uh, in the near future. Uh, well, it's 
going to really get cheap. It's going to get cheaper. It's going to get cheap enough that um, a lot of us regular guys and girls can afford to have a panel on your roof and maybe it just, you know, puts a trickle charge on your car battery or, or something. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to supply all the power for your whole house. But uh, it's getting ready. It's getting to the point that it's going to be economical to do that. Uh, back in the day, it was 30-year uh, payoffs. Then it was 20 year payoffs, then it was 15 year payouts. I think it may be down to 10 or 12 uh, by now, and it's going to get even lower. And the cost of the batteries to store the energy is getting ready to take a really big drop. Uh, Tesla is really getting ready to flood the market with uh, lithium ion batteries and their their gigafactory that they're opening up this year that's beginning to open now but is going to be completely open by next year um, one year's production from that one factory will equal the entire world's output of lithium ion batteries so I would say that supply is going to take a tremendous boost and when until demand catches up with it we're going to see uh, lithium ion battery prices drop like crazy. Make 
enough le electricity that the amount that the power company pays you is more than the amount that you pay the power company. So you could actually be a, a, a net power generator. So that would be pretty interesting. I, I have a, an acquaintance. He was a former student of mine uh, in Farmington, New Mexico. He had a uh, Nissan Leaf uh, all-electric vehicle. And um, I, in fact, I have a, a video, I think, on my YouTube channel of uh, me driving his Nissan Leaf, giving some of my impressions. But um, he has a couple of uh, solar panels on his roof in New Mexico. They make enough electricity, and he stores it in. Um, he stores his in just regular uh, lead acid batteries. I think he uses golf cart batteries because they're a real deep cycle battery. Um, he makes enough electricity from the solar panels on his roof to completely. His leaf charged, so he never has to plug his leaf into uh, an outlet that costs him money. So you could say he's driving his car for free, except for the wear and tear on it. He never has to put fuel in it. He never has to pay for the electricity that goes in. I think that's I think that's pretty cool. And it's going to, like I said, as time goes on, it's going to get even more like that in the future. The price of battery, the price of batteries is going to come down. The price of uh, solar panels has already come down a long way in the last five years. And in the next five years from now, they're going to go down even more, probably half what they cost now. Uh, it's going to be interesting times coming up. So, um, <clears throat> I got to the hotel and um, checked my email. Wasn't any, nothing really going on. So, I went and got me something to eat. Went to uh, Steak and Shake. Reason I went to Steak and Shake is because we don't have Steak and Shakes around in Iowa, so I thought, well, it'll be different. And it was just a hamburger. Um, so then I got to thinking, you know, it's an hour, hour and a half from where I'm staying to Scottsboro, Alabama. Let me move this thing. So. <laughs> Scottsboro, Alabama is where my great great grandfather uh, came from. So my grandfather's grandpa came from Scottsboro, Alabama and uh, moved to Arkansas, brought his family and he was only there for a year and died of pneumonia and so there was kind of you know in those days this was in about 1800 um, there wasn't a lot of uh, convenient ways to travel back and forth and traveling from Scottsboro Alabama to Prairie County, Arkansas um, was a journey. So the family kind of got separated. And so for the longest time, whenever you would talk to, when I would talk to my grandpa about his grandfather, of course, you know, he didn't know him because he, he died at like 30 and um, 
didn't know very much about his family, didn't know anything. All they knew was he came from Scottsboro, Alabama. So, I'm on my way to Scottsboro, Alabama. Might as well, I'm close. Uh, you never know, I might just walk in and every, every uh, business in town may be Tipton dry goods and Tipton hardware and Tipton this and Tipton that, I don't know. But I did find that there is a Tipton Cemetery and uh, my goal today, once I get past this uh, road construction, is to find the Tipton Cemetery and see if maybe I can take a picture of a gravestone or something. You know, that's what old people do. Well, I went and looked for the Tipton Cemetery. I went to Scottsboro, Alabama, and I looked for the Tipton Cemetery, but I couldn't find it. The GPS took me to a residential neighborhood and I drove around several times but I didn't see anything that even resembled a cemetery so and, you know I, I tried so now I'm headed back to uh, Rome to the hotel and uh, instead of going back that highway 117 where there was all that construction and one lane road and all that stuff I'm going to go back through uh, a little town in Alabama called Fort Payne, Alabama, which is where the band Alabama is from. And uh, you never know. Heck, I might see somebody I recognize.